previously on Dragon Ball Z. After more than a decade of battling the most powerful villains in the universe on DVD, Goku and his friends now face their greatest challenge yet. A high definition revolution has taken the world by storm, and with it has come the arrival of a true technological titan. A video format capable of supporting resolution so powerful, it leaves even the mightiest DVD in the dust. It's over 9,000! 9,000? No, Vegeta, it's 1080p. Blu-ray, the most advanced home entertainment system the world has ever known. Six times the picture clarity of DVD. Any attempt to bring Dragon Ball Z's original standard definition transfer to this new format would leave even the hard-edged Vegeta looking a little fuzzy. Fortunately, the team at Funimation is standing by, ready to help. To meet this challenge, they've called upon a team of video experts who will put their training to the test in an effort to bring Goku and his friends into the high definition age. Can they take Dragon Ball Z to the next level? Find out now. Hey, welcome to Funimation. We are the video engineers who are in charge of restoring Dragon Ball Z. Our goal with this release is to try and get it to look as much like the original film print as possible. Uh, we do that by using various uh, processes and filters, and we go through each episode frame by frame. Uh, and look for instances of dust and scratch marks and things like that, and we clean those up to try to return the film to the original glory. But the process actually begins at a company called Am Transfer. Hi, my name is Steve Franco. I'm senior colorist here at Am Transfer. Been doing this for about probably 30 years. I was asked uh, this past year to re-color correct and re-scan uh, Dragon Ball Z. But in order to make that work, you have to obviously find a starting point and try to match the colors of the film as the, uh, the creative guys intended it to be. So what we did is I got a hold of uh, our telecine analysis film, it's called TAF. And what we do is we align the telecine to match the color information, the grayscale, and the detail of that film. Now, the prints at that time, you had a lot of grain, but in standard depth, the grain was kind of smushed over because you didn't really see the grain. But now we're taking it to HD it's looking further into the film. We're seeing more resolution. And of course, one of the byproducts of resolution for any film is grain. Grain is what gives us the resolution. That's probably one of the most important things about this project is trying to be as true and honest and do the proper reproduction, if you will, of this film. I feel that we've accomplished making it look as true as it could possibly look. And when you look at this, um, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with this version of Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, I want to see what the great Kakarot's made of. <laughs> you want me? You got me. The first filter we use is the dust filter. Because we're working with animated material, the filter's kind of prone to removing stars from the sky or people's pupils, so we have to remove it from specific parts of specific scenes before we send it on to the fix pass. 
So after the dust pass, we move on to doing the fix pass, painting out any blemishes, abnormalities, even hairs, blemishes, or bodily fluids. Frame by frame, frame by frame, frame by front and frame. Just basically anything that is abnormal. Tape marks, tape marks, also tape marks between the scenes. And it is the most uh, time consuming of all the processes. <laughs> <laughs> After the fix pass, we run the steady filter, which gets rid of the unsteadiness in the footage due to the film weave. The filter analyzes the footage and makes tracking data, and then adjusts each frame according to our parameters. After the steady pass, the last couple of uh, filters that we apply, the first of which uh, helps reduce the, the flicker that's evident in our print, and the second uh, processes the grain and noise in order to make this the truest representation possible of the original master. Once that's done, we send it through a couple of uh, passes of quality control and send it on to our editors. And that's pretty much it. Isn't that right? Next time on Dragon Ball Z. The action continues like you've never seen it before. For the first time, witness every crushing Kamehameha, every titanic transformation in true 1080p high definition. Volume 2, coming soon to Blu-ray from Funimation Entertainment.